we typically use OptiBrain is I, I start with a resting measure. I'd like to kind of know in general what their thinking patterns are. I never quite know what they're thinking, so obviously they can be influenced. EEG is a very sensitive signal, so what they're thinking will influence it. But what I typically am going to do is turn on OptiBrain and we'll go to collect mode. What you'll see on it is the signals will start coming in. Each of these different colors represents one of the different electrodes and we'll do some adjustments here. Uh, and as those all get filled in, we know everything is co connected and that we're gonna get good signals. Right now, the Muse is hooked up to the app and the connections are all good. And if you notice those little bars that come up on the screen, those are his blinks and some of the Connections might go in and out a little bit, but when we map them, all of the distraction or the eye blinks and the disconnect will be taken out of the signal, so it'll be all good signals. I'm just going to do a little 10 second connection here. I have different options and we'll record and I'll typically have the person just looking at the screen while we're recording and stop talking. Okay, so we'll label this one a resting condition. And, and I have also on the app, if they were doing a putt, for example, we could put in a quality rating of what the putt might be, and we could also put in notes what the outcome is. I kind of like to do that later on. We can do some comparisons of best versus uh, not so best putts, but we'll go ahead and save this one. We come back to the middle. We go in, his trial's right there, and there's his maps. So we can look at Aaron's maps here. I kind of like to look at the left and right are averaged together in numbers here, and he tends to be a little left-sided, so you'll notice the left is higher there, the left is higher there, left is higher there, and left is higher there. He's got pretty good balance in terms of the color. The colors kind of tell us the pattern in his brain, and everybody's unique and different. You see those are, are, are quite different right there. And what my guess is is that when he gets on synergy, some of these are gonna become more alike. Um, and then I like the values as well because they're going to tell us exactly how high and low the activity is in those different areas. Okay, so from here what I normally do is go out and maybe catch a baseline with him putting and collect several putts so we can go back and compare the brain maps. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the entire series at golfsciencelab.com slash opti and get our complete guide to using the Muse headbands and the opti apps to improve your performance and your mental game on the golf course.